So now that I've seen how artichokes grow, let's talk about what to do with them in the kitchen because I think, at least outside of California or maybe Italy, um, there is a huge knowledge gap for people. They, their artichokes are very unapproachable. Uh, they're spiny, they're complicated. Uh, there's a lot of leaves that don't get eaten. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do to cook artichokes and I think it's actually pretty easy and it's really delicious. So most people steam them and then dip the petals in like mayonnaise and I'm like, eh, I mean that's good, but I found a better way to do it. So I take uh, garlic and lemons and I roast them. So I cut the lemons, I put a little olive oil or just regular like with some high smoke point olive uh, oil actually. I do avocado oil or something like that. And then I just add a little salt and then I roast them until they're like goopy and caramelized looking and delicious. And then I'll do, I'll, I'll prep my artichokes and I'll steam them and then I'll throw it all in the oven together and finish it off. And then when you're ready to eat them, you take the roasted garlic clove, you like you squeeze it out and it's like, and then you take the lemon goop from the inside of the lemon and you mix that together and that's what you dip your artichoke in. It's way better for you than mayonnaise and I think it's way tastier. So, so here's the way Ike does it. He grabs a clove of garlic, or a head of garlic, and then so here's all of our lemons here. Ike, how do we, what do we say every time we hear lemons? Yeah, lemons. <laughs> So then you actually take your take your stuff, squish it together, and make a little paste. Oh, yep. Hot. Yeah, super hot. Just came out of the oven. Um, and then here's our steamed and roasted artichoke. Isn't that pretty? I just take the lemon butts and stick them in there. Well, he wants one. There's his. All right. And then you just pop your leaves off and stick it in the good stuff. Or the good good. I have a cheater way of doing this. Or, you, I mean, you could do all of this, which is amazing, tasty, tasty, awesome. Or you could just make chicken piccata, <laughs> which I did tonight, and dip your artichokes in the chicken piccata. Yeah, sauce. that's really good. Oh my gosh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, that's really good, right? Lemony. <laughs> yeah, lemons. <laughs> all right, so this is how we do artichokes in Hot. Casa Rio and Schneider. Oh wait, here, Brian's got it going here. This is what you do when you mix your lemon and your garlic together. You squish up your garlic and then squeeze out the pulp of the lemon and mix it all together. And for the people who don't know how to eat a whole artichoke, um, or even just a quarter artichoke or something like that, I have a funny time-lapse video of my son Uli, who's five and a half now, from when he was maybe two years old. And he just picked the petals off as fast as he could and just he would just mow right through them. And it was super hilarious um, to see such a small little kid doing that. But what was funny about that is that I've always told my kids, um, if you can chew it, then it's edible. That's part of the artichoke. You don't want to eat the choke, but you can eat the stem. You can eat the little thing that's on the, the little bit that's on the, on the outer leaves. And then as you get inside, you can actually eat the, all of the inner leaf leaf as long as it doesn't have the spines on the inside of it. So if you can chew it, you can eat it. still has a sticker on and the thing about them they're in water right now and this one has a sticker in the random voice and Let's put that back. And then this one. It's cool. And pop. This one's a really awesome. And this. The 
One dozen now. Thank you. Which is very cool. Okay. So, today, we are doing something cool. Yeah, there's my mom.